My name is Valerio Caruso. I am director of Cine Europa. You are writing on, on the blog we created. Thank you very much. You are doing a very, very good job. I'm very happy what you are, you are writing. Um, you, are not, you are not looking very, very tired. So it seems that you are, you are enjoying the festival, but I think you are going to sleep very early. Huh? Anyway, uh, I would like to introduce you uh, Seren Yuce today, Yuce, um, and uh, who make his first film. Seren, we are here just to explain the background. Um, uh, thank to the European Parliament and the Lux Prize of the European Parliament, uh, we brought together 27 young uh, people, young professionals, uh, critics, uh, uh, from 27 countries, and uh, thanks to Giornate degli Autori, Venice Days, uh, and Europa Cinema, uh, they are discovering the, the festival, they are, they are writing on a, on a, on a blog, um, and uh, they are participating to, uh, every day to uh, different discussions. Today, today's discussion is about uh, first film, second film, and when you made the first film, how to confirm the second one, how to do sec the second one. Um, sometimes it's, um, when, when, when I talk with, with young filmmakers, filmmakers uh, have the impression which is it's easier to the first film um, and it's more difficult to confirm the second film, especially if the first film is a success. If we see, for example, Christy Puyu, uh, in, he made the first film in, in 2001, and uh, he went to the Kanzen. He was acclaimed, very, very big success, some critical success, and he waited five years before uh, doing the, the second films. Uh, the same uh, with uh, Jacques Audiard, was a big, big success in Cannes, and, uh, and he waited, uh, I think, almost five years to do the second films. So, so I would like, like to, to ask uh, Seren about his experience about uh, the first film. Very briefly, uh, how, how long it took to, to make the, the, the film, the majority and uh, the process of writing, and also if you can explain also a little bit if you are inside the produ production side, how you, you, you brought together uh, the financial and how long it took uh, to, to, to brought the financial and how to you convince the producer to finance your first film. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, everything, this is a simple cliche actually, but it's, uh, everything starts with the script. So you have to have a, actually a good script to convince people around you. And uh, actually it took for me about two years to, to write the script and, and it's not two years on the paper writing it because first of all the ideas ideas come come around you gather them and you put them in order and then you start to write and this takes a long time actually it, it, it's supposed to take a long time because you, you shouldn't do it just like that and <clears throat> the actually I was lucky in sense of production because I was working with people with with my producers for maybe five years, six years before that, as I was an assistant director. And they, they were expecting me to have a script and to, to make the film. And suddenly it came out like this. And actually, in Turkey, the way you to make a first film, I mean, the, the easiest way, let's say, is to get the money from the Ministry of Culture. But it is not easy to get the money from the Ministry of Culture because they, you can never tell what they, how they judge the scripts. Because there are maybe 10 to 15 delegations and they, they read the script and there are some of them are producers, some of them are critics or whatever. And you, you, you really can't tell what, what they judge, I mean, what, what they think is important. So they didn't give money for even for writing and for the production of this film. So we had to ask people around us to put some money. 
to the film because the producers by the beginning didn't have that much money to invest on the film. So it's it's about the and then it grew up like the with the relationships of the of the producer of my producer and they are uh, experienced production company. They say they this is the seventh film of of them and uh, they all make the independent films so-called independent films for Turkey. Pro they usually got money from the Ministry of Culture, but as Turkey is changing and the ideas also are changing, and so this kind of cinema doesn't count that much, actually, for the last <coughs> couple of years. I mean, they, they're making more, they're, they're changing more to the commercial side of the cinema. And anyway, so... We started with no money actually, I mean we, we tried to gather around money and then uh, we actually there's another important thing in the production phase that you have to make a really um, good crew, let's say. I mean, you, actually what we try to do is to keep the production team as small as possible. We were like 15 people on the set and uh, most i mean the most crowded unit was the camera crew it was three people including the director of photography so we were really a small crew and actually this script was also written in that sense that you can produce a film with let's say uh, 150,000 euros, something like that, because the, the budget of the shooting phase was almost approximately was like that in Turkey for this film. So actually we really built up a good crew and everybody was knowing what they were doing actually and and everybody, actually it's also important for, for the crew to convince them by the script because uh, as long as they like the script and they're after it, so they work for themselves, not only for you because it's all also a good experience for them to get at the same time. So the shooting phase, I mean also the actors, you have to choose the, actually you have to be in communication with the actors before you start the film for a long time, maybe before the pre-production. You, you have to get to know them, you have to talk about the script for so long until that they convince you that they understood the script actually, what's really going on. Concerning the, the, the script, uh, you work alone on the script? Actually, I did, yes. And when this mm, work with the, with the actors, did they intervene in the script or...? Uh, no, no, no. After, after everything was written down and then I delivered the script to certain people. And also I was all about to make a mistake when I was trying to look for the leading role because I had the idea that I could work with some non-actor as long as he is the only one who is appearing on every scene in, in the film, so then after a while it came to me that it's not, maybe it's not a good idea to work with a non-actor and to teach and educate him uh, uh, on cinema with the camera and everything. So we, we went for the real actors after that and I'm really happy with that idea actually I changed, that I changed my mind. So after the after the film is done, the, we you you actually the, the point is that you have to keep everything so small. I mean, if you're making the independent, I'm not talking about the action films and the big productions. Of course, it's something completely different. But for for this kind of films, small films, that if it's small, then everything is supposed to be small. I mean, you have to go over that idea at every level of the film. So. Uh, we made the editing at home and uh, actually after the editing, the, after you try, uh, start to send the film around, I mean, the dispatched film. So, and then it, we, we met with Venice Days and Venice people and all, all this kind of stuff. And if, if, if the film is successful, then it's finding its own way and it starts to follow its own route, actually. <laughs> 